Hmm. Green screen? Treadmill? What does it all mean? You're finally gonna lose some weight? No! We're doing this! Douche. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. Well, it finally happened. I've been putting this effect off for nearly two seasons with the same excuse. But let's see our request first to see what I'm talking about. Javiz Piran asked, Could you do the flash effect when he's running? I mean, when the camera record him running normal, but the streets are in the background and looks like he's running too fast. Um, I think I get what he means. And I've always said, I can't do this effect properly without a treadmill in the studio. Well, guess what? I picked up a treadmill in a Facebook garage sale for 40 bucks. That's right, a treadmill for the studio. So now I can finally make what I'm calling the advanced flash running effect. Advanced because you really need both a treadmill and a green screen, otherwise it simply won't work. Now sure, you could run on the spot, but the reason I've never done this is because if you run on the spot on a green screen, it's really obvious and looks super lame. Look at me, I'm running on the spot. See? So, with all that out of the way, in order to complete this effect, you need to shoot yourself running on a treadmill on a green screen. Now, as you know, this effect is shot on a bunch of different angles. There's one from the front, there's one from three quarters, there's one from the back, but today we're gonna to be focusing on side on. Just remember, it doesn't really matter how close or far your shot is from the camera, as long as the treadmill isn't in the shot or you don't interact with it. You also need to grab the download pack in the description, which contains the lightning layers and some city footage. Now, let's get to work. Alrighty guys, here we are back in After Effects. I've got my shot on the treadmill all keyed out and all ready to go. Now I will mention I did bump the brightness and saturation down on my actor's footage. This is in keeping with the effect on the show as it lets the background pop out a lot more. So our first step here is to speed this footage up just a tad, as I'm not quite happy with the speed I'm running. I was about to crank it up during the shoot and then my iPad dropped onto the treadmill and I actually stood on it. So let's right click our footage Head to time and select time stretch. I'm gonna bump this down to 50, that way it speeds our footage up to 200%. Now, let's have a look. Hmm, much better. You guys don't have to do this, just run faster, or do this, I don't care. Next step, let's do that zoom in. So this is just a basic scale up gang, but I thought I'd show you anyway since there's a handy tip in it for you. Let's head up here and find the anchor point tool. Let's then head back down and move that anchor point up to around my temple area. Now if we hit S and bring up our scale, you can see that when we scale up the footage, it automatically centers on my head. No need to reposition it at all. So I'll just undo that scaling, and then we'll head around to frame 15 by scrubbing along the timeline, hit the stopwatch, head to around 105, and then let's scale it up to a close-up. God, I love 4K footage. Let's check out a preview. Hmm, nothing much yet, but we are making headway. Our next step is adding our background. For this, I have a still of a city that's pretty big, but not big enough. Let's drag it and drop it below our footage layer, and then we'll hit S and scale it up to 500%. We'll then move its position all the way along until we find the start of the picture. There it is. Let's then hit P, hit the stopwatch, head to the end of our comp, and do the exact same thing. But this time, we're looking for the opposite end. There it is. Now, if we turn on motion blur for the comp and the layer, we get something like this. It's looking better, but as you saw, the background didn't zoom in with my footage. To fix that, all we do is parent the background to our scaled footage and BAM! All fixed, baby. Nice. Our next step is adding some simple lightning layers. I've already made up some in the download pack and rendered them out with an alpha channel, so they're all ready to go. So let's just drag and drop them under our actor footage. We have an upper and a lower lightning. Feel free to reposition them if you want. We'll then change the transfer mode on both to screen, like so. We'll then parent them both to our actor layer. Our last lightning footage is called Blast. This one only lasts for a couple of frames, and you can basically throw it on the timeline whenever you want. I'm going to put it once on the medium shot, and then once again in the close-up, like so. We'll then change the transfer mode on both of those to add. Now from there, we want to make it look like the bolts light up our actor. So in order to do that, let's select our actor layer, head to effect, color correction and grab exposure. We'll then head to the frame just before our blast, 
hit the stopwatch on exposure, and then skip ahead to when the bolt hits, and bump that up until it blows out our image nicely. We'll then skip to the point just after the blast, and knock it back down to zero. You can then rinse and repeat this process for the next blast. Our last effect is to add a few specks of dirty lens flare every now and then to sell that effect of the light refracting off the lens. They really love doing this on the flash as well. For this, I'll just grab a photo of a dirty lens like this one from the download pack, drop it in on top of our footage and change the transfer mode to add. From there, let's skip forward three frames, hit Ctrl Shift D and delete the excess. We can then simply duplicate this lens layer and then just chuck it on the timeline whenever we feel like it. Now that we've done all that, let's check out a preview. And that, my peeps, is the first treadmill filmed effect done, and it won't be the last. Add up all those steps and you can get something like this. So that's my take on an advanced flash running effect, or flash running 2.0 if you will. I know this isn't an effect that everyone can accomplish due to it being on a green screen and on a treadmill, but you guys were asking for it, so consider this request filled. But once again, that's my time gang. If you enjoyed the video, please like and share it. If you're new here, run towards that subscribe button. I also have the Facebook and the Twitter so you can stay up to date with all things learning. And until next week, when hopefully we can do some sweet new effects, keep learning.